Week two, we had a gritty win in week one against the Raiders. We had a couple of injuries in that game. Those guys should be healthy, at least some of them for this game. And I think all of them, actually. No Frankie Louvu or Neil Madsen or Bijan Robinson for much of last week. But they are all back for week two, and we're going to need all hands on deck if we're going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. They have the usual suspects that you'd expect. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Chris Jones, Creed Humphrey, Joe Tooney. Nick Bolton is one of the better up-and-coming players in the league. Legereus Need is really, really underrated. Trey Smith is a good player. Only dropped in the draft because of serious health concerns. I think blood clots in his legs was a real red flag for teams. But he was really good at Tennessee, and he's really good in the NFL here at guard. Played some tackle at Tennessee, too. A lot of tackle, I believe. Isaiah Pacheco, Trent McDuffie, I think, is a beast and has superstar dev now. They've got some playmakers. So this is going to be a tough task for us. A.J. Dillon was even signed. It's just the receivers aren't particularly strong. I just wonder if it's going to matter when you're dealing with Patrick Mahomes. So this is going to be a tough one for us, but we do have a challenge. We had a fantastic game last week from the rookie out of Clemson. Deshaun Humphreys, a.k.a. Hump. And we still don't know his death trait. I don't know that it's going to be revealed in this game, but it could be. But he could go up a dev trait slot. He could get even more XP. He is on the fast track to being a star. So Deshaun Humphreys is certainly a name to watch out for. Although I do have some troubling news about the rookie, Kyrie Yankee. His development trait has been revealed, and it is only star. Now, he was a second-round pick. The expectations were not that it was going to be superstar, but it's always just a bit sad when you find out that it is only star. Because, you know, yo, man, what? It, maybe it could be superstar. It never is. But maybe in the case of Deshaun Humphreys, it will be. That's the hope. But anyway, we're going to try and continue his breakout from being a training camp standout, now being just a staple in our team. You've really impressed me every step of the way this year. That's true. He's been very good. Week one was a tremendous performance, and apparently he tried telling us, well, watch your mouth, son. You don't talk to the head coach, head ball coach that way, all right? But, all right, his hard work will pay off. Let's see it. Three combined sacks and tackles for loss with left outside linebacker Deshaun Humphreys to complete his breakout. That would be a dev trade upgrade. That probably means he doesn't have Superstar X Factor. Surprise, surprise. But, yeah, that's going to be tough. Especially against this guy. It's going to be tough. So, I hope that they run the ball. I hope they don't run the ball well. And I hope that our players stay healthy and can make plays. Because Deshaun Humphrey is going up a dev trait and getting a ton of XP. That would be huge. Because, you know, doing these practice drills is cool. But it only does so much, right? You need a big boost every once in a while, and that's what we're going for. And hopefully Deshaun Humphreys completes the breakout. Three TFLs is no easy task. He barely got two last game, which is still a lot, right? That was against Jimmy G. That was against the Raiders. Now, the one benefit we might have is that we don't have to face Josh Jacobs. So, maybe there's hope. We'll see. Neil Madsen's going to be back on the field. Again, exited last game with an injury. And we're hoping that he stays healthy because uh, even though we had some guys step up, uh, I wouldn't say that Jonu Smith was one of them. Did have a catch. But, you know, we're expecting a lot out of Neil Madsen. And he would have had a couple of really big plays in the last game if not for being overthrown by Desmond Ritter. So, you know, he's going to be a tough player to replace. Despite having haters in the comments. I'm not concerned. Look at these routes. <laughs> what are what are we doing, dude? All right, don't look at that. Can we still even get gold here? It's going to be just possible, maybe? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I don't know that we can do it. Just short. But we do get gold on the rookie tight end, Neil Madsen out of Utah. We need him to get star dev. Is it going to happen? Probably never. But I would like it to. And here is the star development interior defensive lineman, the highest overall rookie currently on this team. Out of Notre Dame, it's Kyrie Yankee. And he should be good for us. And he is just bulldozing these would-be blockers. And 
Somehow that pass is allowed. Can we still get gold here? I don't know how we didn't do it in time. Oh, look at the spin move. Look at the bull rush. And we're pushed out. All right, well, <laughs> gotta restart. And gold for Kyrie Yankee. Offense appears to be healthy, like that. And the defense, healthy as well. Did I say it prematurely? Nope, only do one thing prematurely and it's not say names. We do have upgrades though, and it is for Deshaun Humphreys. I keep upgrading pass coverage. I'm going to keep doing that. I need man coverage to be at least in the 60s. His overall still will not change when we upgrade pass coverage, but he does, in my opinion, become a better player. Man coverage by one, zone coverage by two, tackle and awareness by one. He's getting better, but, you know, still not as good as we want him to be. Home opener, and we have to play the Chiefs and a litany of superstar X-Factor players that they have. Not very fun, unless we win. This would be a nice upset. Now, I noticed their overalls were not actually especially high as a team. Like, offense was an 85, defense was an 81, but they still have individual players that can take over a game. Patrick Mahomes, we know about that. Travis Kelsey, same deal. Chris Jones, these are known quantities and known entities. These are really, really good players. And all it takes is one of these guys to have a great game to completely end our game. So, we're going to do what we can do. Week two, home opener here against the Chiefs. Let's pull away with a win. Let's upset them. Here we go. Week two underway. Scott back to return. He's just going to take a knee down. He does, and the Chiefs offense will take the field. Andy Reid looking pretty slim, to be honest. And here are the numbers for Patrick Mahomes. Threw for 277 yards, two touchdowns last week. Did turn over the football at least once with that pick. And we'd like to see one or two of those today. Pacheco is the lone back. And Mahomes going to take this snap from under center. He's going to run the ball to Pacheco, and Troy Anderson meets him. Pacheco can only get a yard. Did rush for 93 yards a week ago. Did have a score as well. 22 attempts. Hope you get close to 93 yards. And it's going to be second and nine. Man coverage. I want to kind of align inside. And down goes Mahomes already. Frankie Luvu got there. Was he the one who absolutely came in screaming? Might have been Troy Anderson as well. We need to take another look at this. Because someone came in like they were shot out of a cannon. It was Frankie Louvu unblocked off the edge. And then it was actually Caden Ellis who got in there and be like, I want the sack too. That's all Frankie Louvu. Big free agent signing for us. Got banged up a week ago. But is making big plays as we force third and long. Man coverage against Travis Kelsey. That's a rough call. They go screen. Mahomes under pressure from Arnold Evicady and can only throw it away. Great series from our defense. We just look like the best defense of all time. That's how you make an impact. Desmond Ritter, his numbers were not super impressive last week, but that doesn't matter. We run the ball and we, we couldn't really do that as much with B. John Robinson injured, but he's back now. And he's looking for space. That's a few. Second and six. We go back up the middle here. Bijan's got some good power. So, you know, I might think of him just a shifty guy, but he's got power back size and strength. And he sets up third and two. We got George Espinosa, the rookie fullback in the backfield. He's going to lead the way. Here's a run of Bijan. Nice enough block. That's a first down. Working off play action, Algier. And we might get sacked here. Just throw it away. I didn't like it. That was way too close to being a huge loss. Try to get fancy. It's not even fancy. We don't play action on first down. That's not that crazy. Obviously did not work out. We could run the ball here. It's it do we think this is four down territory? We're from midfield. We're gonna we're gonna try it. And we might be able to just get it anyway. So it's third and seven. I know that doesn't seem good. Didn't seem like it was a good call. But if we think we can get close, make it fourth and one, fourth and two. I don't actually hate running against that look. And let's get Kyle Pitts coming across the field. Might just dump it down to Bijan. And that's exactly what we do. He's open. Should be able to make somebody miss and get the first down. And pretty much what happened. Second down and 10. 
We're inside lead for London, and it's intercepted. Legereus Sneed, no, it's Justin Reed. Excuse me, Reed, not Sneed. Reed jumps in front, takes it away. Needed to do the special pass lead to the inside, not just regular pass lead because it's intercepted. Reed lurking, I like the matchup. We got it over the linebacker, Willie Gay, but Justin Reed read it the whole way. We had nothing to threaten on the outside to hold him over on the, uh, in that deep third maybe. And uh, obviously we pay the price for it. And now we can't get outside, Travis Kelsey's open. Settle back down. Trey Smith injured. We gotta settle back down. Obviously, turnover's not what we wanted. Hills would otherwise was a decent drive, but we gotta lock back in. We're playing a great team. They're not gonna continue to make mistakes. They're moving the ball pretty well right now. Oh, we gotta make a tackle. Gotta be kidding me. Third and four. Did they run the ball here? We're showing man. And they take advantage of it. Jesse Bates in coverage. Noah Gray moves the chains for the Chiefs. And that's just a tough matchup. Somehow, as a safety on a tight end. I don't know. Um, he's got the, the ball out pretty quickly. We're just going to keep sending heat. I know Mahomes does pretty well against the Blitz. So maybe maybe we don't. <laughs> that, that drive was just way too easy. Travis Kelsey touchdown. I guess we just gave him way too much space is what ended up happening there. Yeah, I mean, way too much space. Probably have to just go press across the, the whole defense there and uh, maybe they can't do that as quickly but yeah we just left too much space here's all jeer in the backfield uh you got to go through him it's not awful but i i mean one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker i really would just like to be able to not have him make a play second down and six they're gonna blitz we're gonna throw to kyle pitts who catches the ball there's a flag this may be coming back or Maybe going even more forward, as this could be roughing the passer. It's not. It is a hold on Matthew Bergeron, and third and one quickly becomes second and 16. And now there's an injury. Foot contusion for Kyle Pitts. Madsen going to have to step up. That is not ideal. Not what we want to see. See what happens here. Don't like anything. We're gonna throw deep down the field. Never, never, ever gonna get it to London on that. Third and 16, really tough down in distance. We can barely even get a throw off and we can't connect to DPJ. Ritter gonna start at one for six, seven yards and a pick. Chiefs defense has been uh, pretty tough so far, but when you, when you get in situations like second and third and long and they know you're gonna try to throw the ball down the field, they can just pin their ears back and get after the passer and it's of course, Pretty tough to do anything when that happens. There's another look at our draft class. Deshaun Humphreys, the third round pick, has played into a starting role at this point. And, I mean, we'll see what happens with Troy Anderson. But in two linebacker sets, I mean, Humphreys is going to play. Oh, big hit. Caden Ellis, I love it. Nearly a big play down the field. Caden Ellis comes in, breaks it up. Third and nine for the Chiefs. Third and nine. Play action. Don't fall for it. Oh, they're going deep down the field. Where's Jesse Bates? Jeff Okuda is there to make the hit. Dart from Mahomes. Rasheed Rice can't catch it. We caught a break. He was definitely by our entire defense. First and 10. Who wants to get open? How about Kyle Pitts? Down the sideline makes the snag. Only the second completion so far for Desmond Ritter. The big one. We needed that in the worst way. And now we can focus right back on number seven. Getting the football in the hands of our best player. It's Bijan Robinson. When there's a good block from Bergeron. Bijan to the outside. Nice play. And we actually have an injury. It's the undrafted rookie free agent, George Elliott. Out of Boise State, we signed him. He made a, like, a pretty good impression in preseason. Made the team. And uh, now we're not going to have him for special teams for the rest of this game, which is not great. As we're going to just go ahead and check it down to the rookie tight end, Madsen. That might be his first NFL catch in the regular season. He's been open quite a bit, but we just haven't been able to hit him. Ritter missed him a couple times in week one. And that is not a bad play here in week two. 15 yards for the rookie tight end out of Utah. 
We're gonna go right back to him. Neil Madsen with another catch. Put it in his vicinity. It seems like he's got a pretty good chance to bring it in. Madsen, I mean, starting to play pretty well. Here's a run to Robinson. Yeah, tried to get a little fancy. Not really a ton of space there. Chiefs kind of crashed down, making that play happen. Second and goal. Algier into the game. Looking to pass here. See if somebody can get open. This is just a little bit too much pressure. We're going to throw it away. Third and goal from the five. That was just not a good route combo. I don't like that play. I don't like that play. I don't want to run it again. We're going to go mesh. I can see Bijan getting open. We're probably going to hit one of the tight ends here. We're going to throw for Madsen. And he can't catch it. Not the right read. Oh, man. We're going to have to kick a field goal. Decent drive. I think we probably would have been better served with runs on second and third down. We got to know the identity of our team. And it's not passing the ball when you get inside the 10. It's running the ball and living with the results. It's intercepted by Terrell. Big mistake by Mahomes. Not ready for that to happen. First play from scrimmage of this new possession. And Mahomes just throws it right to AJ Terrell. I don't know. That was a bad play. I don't even know that the receiver was that covered. But Mahomes just let it go pretty quickly in the direction of Kadarius Tony, and he was either early on the throw or Tony was slow on the route. Terrell jumps it, no problem, big turnover. And yeah, call Bijan Robinson's number. Let's go. They're a good block, speed from Bijan. That's a first down. And Madsen gonna jog into the locker room again. This guy, oh man, made of glass. Made of glass. Brutal. Working off play action. Throwing for Pitts. Knocked away. We're on the ball in second and 10. Bijan tracked down Willie Gay into the backfield. Abstrain for Madsen. We're going to play it safe. Keep Jonu Smith in. Third and 13. We tried to run the ball there. Obviously didn't work. We might just go one-on-one -on -one here. See if we can get Drake London on the, uh, on the outside. Maybe DPJ. And I, I think we have a good chance for London. And nearly caught by Bijan off a tip. Good coverage down the field. <sighs> Frustrating. All right. We're going to settle for three again. Not getting the results we want here in the red zone or the green zone here as we're from the 22. Inside the 30 is the green zone. And it doesn't stand for money today. We can't cash in. To the flat, Humphreys. Look at that. Not going to be a TFL, but a really nice play to cover that. Chiefs only get a yard. We need those TFLs, though, and it, it's not happening for Humphreys right now. We got to actually change. We got to get into a different look. Chiefs are going to take full advantage of that. Going down the sideline can't connect, thankfully. That's unfortunate. Mahomes finds Tony up the seam. Big time play. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's just they have a great quarterback. A little too much space, probably, but... Not everyone's making that play. Holmes goes over the middle. We went for the big hit, couldn't connect. Humphreys ends up finishing the play. But it's a first down for the Chiefs. Gonna be first and goal from the four. We're gonna send pressure, but this time we're gonna press. Get the safeties up. They're not moving up. I wanna press the safeties. Won't let me do it. Gonna be a pass to the end zone. Bates in coverage, not good enough. Touchdown, Travis Kelsey, number two of the game. And it's a, a, a code we can't crack at the moment. How do we cover Travis Kelsey? If we stick in zone coverage, they're going to find space. If we stay in man, Jesse Bates clearly can't cover him. It's a problem. Second and two after a completion to Kyle Pitts. We're just going to do that again. Oh, Kyle Pitts down the field. Nearly intercepted, but not. I mean, it's a really well-placed throw. Be good timing. It was close. Oh, no, we're under pressure. Throw it down the field. Throw it down the field. Did not like that. We're just going to live to uh, die another day here. We want to live another down and make something happen on second and 10. From the 46. I don't love these routes. Let's get Bijan Robinson. We'll angle out of the backfield here. And we're going to hit him. 
That works well. Going to be third and three. A minute to play here in the first half. I want Bijan to stay on the field. But it looks like he's not going to be doing that. Third and three. How do I feel about running right at Chris Jones? Not real good. We're going to throw the football. We're going to find Drake London. We got a block from Algier. London stiff arming. Did he get out of bounds? They're going to they're going to say he didn't. We're going to have to call a timeout. And we're set. Got to call our second timeout. I think we were going to have London in the end zone. I truly do. Just needed to buy a second longer. Tried to drop back and ended up dropping back into a sack. Second and 20. Pits open. That's got to be a first down. It's going to be real close. We're going to call that final timeout. I just want to save as much time as we can. It's third and inches. Kyle Pitts in the end zone here, maybe. We're going to have to run hurry up from here on out. And we just got bumped. Oh, that was so frustrating. You know, this, this route combo always has this outside receiver not moving at the snap. I get, it's by design, so Pitts... Uh, doesn't like hit him but if DPJ started earlier he wouldn't hit him and then of course as I throw it because we have we're throwing behind a flat-footed linebacker should be able to have catch and run opportunity but he gets bumped and uh Pitts ends up getting open but the ball was already out safety would have made a play on that it's gonna be fourth and inches CPU wants us to go for it all right I don't, I don't actually hate that. I need Espinoza to take out Chris Jones. And we're going to hopefully move the chains here. And then go hurry up. That's exactly what happens. We've got to get back to the line, please. 14 seconds. Need a quick throw out of bounds. Little we'll roll out. Kyle Pitts. End zone leaping. Can't reel it in. Eight seconds. Three seconds to go in the half. We couldn't find the end zone going to be field goal number three. It's so tough to throw the ball against this defense in the red zone. Everything's just so congested, so tight. Their linebackers are really, really fast, really gay. Nick Bolton. It's tough to throw on these guys. We're going to go into the half here down. Three trips to the red zone. Maybe even, maybe even four. Was that pick? No, I don't think we were inside the 20 on that. But, I mean, we spent a good amount of this game in Chiefs territory. And we have zero touchdowns to show for it. Three field goals and an interception. Haven't played that badly, but haven't played well enough. That much is for sure. We do get the football to start half number two. Patterson back to return. Touchdown gives us the lead. Field goal, of course, as we're used to getting, is not good enough. We got a block from Pitts on the outside. Patterson, not great speed. Trying to outrun Edwards. Cordero Patterson! Kick return touchdown. If you can't score on offense, do it on special teams. For Daryl Patterson, houses a kick. Man, we are getting used to that. I talked about it maybe in the last episode. If he's doing return duties, maybe even the preseason episode, this is a guy without top end speed anymore, but he has just enough speed to find the end zone. He is a kick return touchdown machine. And we're going to go for two to try to make this a field goal game. It's so tempting to want to pass here. We're going to run. This is the identity of this team. We're going to run away from Chris Jones. Give us a block. Bijan up the middle. Stuffed. Really? How do we not sneak in there? We do have the lead for the first time this game, but it's 15 to 14. Any type of points here. Safety, field goal, touchdown, anything. Would give the Chiefs the lead. Got to keep them off the board. If they manage to get a safety on offense, it would be impressive. I, I mean the entire game, obviously. Humphrey says no TFLs. No sacks, obviously. And that doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. They're not really giving us opportunities. They're throwing the ball constantly. They're not running the ball really at all. And we can't get any pressure on Mahomes, which means we can't sack him. Which means we can't get TFLs. It's a nice play by Humphreys. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's not a TFL. Third and six, of course they're going to pass. And that's going to be knocked down by Caden Ellis. Good defense. Chiefs are going to have to punt. QB draw is so stupid. We're going to try it. And it's it's the... That's why it's stupid, because nothing works in this game. Ritter turns around to run to the other end zone, despite me not holding backwards at all. 
So dumb. So dumb, and now it's third and 13. Why do I try a play that I know is trash, and then we get sacked? Oh, okay. Second and 15. Humphrey's going after Mahomes, forcing a bad throw. <laughs> nice hit on the back end by Okuda, who just had a pass break up. Play a go. Getting the sack there on Mahomes would have been nice. Want to blitz badly, but got to play defense. Can't allow these completions. And now he might scramble after him. Mahomes just throws it away on third and 15. They're out of field goal range. You think you just throw it down the field there? Arm punt, worst case scenario. But that is not a thing in the game. They just don't know to do that. And I guess it doesn't always happen in real life either. Everyone's so concerned about their stats. Take a shot down the field. Smart thing to do in that spot. But I'm not complaining. I like that they didn't. Ah, uh, where do you even go here? Try to run away from the coverage. Chris Jones moving like a defensive back uh, out there on the field. That's insane. Second and 11. He's in the zone now. But Bijan always is in the zone. Third and one. We're going to run hurry up here. We're going to catch him napping. There's Bijan. There's a good block. And there is a first down. And the football comes out. Recovered by Kansas City. Uh, we were looking for places to go with the ball. Then just tried to step up and make a play. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yeah, you just can't run into a hit stick as a quarterback. That's just tough. Oh, Chiefs going to get the ball back. I mean, we're not going to come close to the tackles for loss with Humphreys, probably. But we're going to keep trying. And there is Frankie Luvu. One and a half sacks. Should be two. He's having a nice game. I mean, we are still very much in this game. It's just our inability to score on offense has been, has been tough. It really has been. Not letting us blitz. Mahomes throwing down the field. Can't find Rice. Third and 17. We might blitz with Humphreys here. Not our responsibility, but we at least we at least threatened it and forced a throw away. Get the football back. We gotta run the ball for first downs. I feel like do we keep abandoning the run? I don't know. Maybe we just get in spots where it doesn't really make sense to. But running the football, giving the ball to Bijan has never been a bad idea. Second and eight. Gonna give the ball to Bijan. That's a big block from Bergeron. Bijan makes a move. I did not spin back. Why would that happen? Oh man, we got the juke off, and then it's like, what about a spin after? No, I didn't. I don't want that. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send Bijan down the field. If that free safety comes to try to take away the slant, we're airing it out. Give it to Bijan. One on one. I mean, Sneed ran with it the whole way. I like the idea. I knew what that safety was going to do. Come up and take away what I want to do, which is throw the slant to London. But uh, the Bijan couldn't end up creating enough space down the field. And we're sacked. Anyadika Uzama on the sack, and that is the end of the third quarter. Fifth sack for Kansas City. I just, I need, you got to protect for just long enough to make the play actually work. Please. Fourth quarter. Third and 19. They're blitzing. We're trying to throw a screen, but we can't even get out there because Bijan's stuck on Anyadika Uzama. King Felix is causing me problems, and I, I think that's a good call, especially against the blitz. But Bijan cannot get out there because he's stuck on Felix, and we end up having to punt. Fourth and 19, like, what's going to happen? We throw up the ball, maybe get a prayer. We don't catch any contested balls down the field anyway. It's never going to work, so... We had success calling that slip screen with Cordero Patterson last week. Tried it here. I think it would have worked, but it didn't because uh, we get stuck. Third and eight for the Chiefs. It's going to stop. I always try to time up the snap and can't do it. Humphreys in coverage on Kelsey. Not only does he not make the play, he can't tackle Kelsey, who picks up an extra 10 or more. We're right there, and he just couldn't quite finish the play. Give us a lane to shoot here. I always just move a little bit too early. There's Humphreys. Gets blocked out of the way. Uh, we're not getting these TFLs, that's for sure. I mean, we're still winning. Shockingly. We are up in this game. It doesn't feel like it. 
that's going to be a touchdown. I mean, we just can't cover everything there. They have, they ran some type of mesh, and uh, we just couldn't cover it. Traquan Smith into the end zone. Chiefs going to take the lead here, and it, it's not all that bad for us. We just need a touchdown. We just couldn't cover everything. Too many things, and uh, the Chiefs going for two to make it a touchdown game. Please keep them off the board. It's Lance. All right, that works. Five-point lead for the Chiefs. Touchdown just gives us the lead straight. Don't even need the extra point. Four minutes to go. I mean, I'd like to make this the final possession of the game, but at the same time, we need to guarantee a touchdown, and I'm not sure we can do that. Let's see what happens. Madsen back out there on the field. Decent block. There's Bijan. Just can't quite accelerate again to get past the secondary. It's a pretty good-looking five-yard run. Prefer a little bit more. I actually really like this play. There's no way they're going to be able to cover Kyle Pitts. And especially if we threaten vertically with Drake London. How did he get out there in time? How is that a two-yard gain? They're not even close to him. Going to run the ball. Third and three. We got blocks. Bijan, nice running. 86 yards on the game now for him. 15 carries. Might have a catch or two as well. Patterson into the game now. First and 10. Ah, oh, we're going to get sacked. Everything was covered there. And now it's second and super long. And now we have to really think about how we're going to do this. Bijan's in the zone. It starts and ends with getting in... Getting the ball in the hands of Bijan Robinson. That's gonna that's gonna be picked. I just I thought the DB was gonna continue to drop and Bijan was gonna just escape right up the middle. I guess that's on me. I misread that. I, I thought we had something there. I really did. Just straight decided to roll out, and I, I mean I just I just feel like there's space there. And I thought he kept dropping, and when we threw the ball, I mean we're already trying to throw here, right? So initiated the throw, bang. It just felt like there was going to be space. But I guess you're you're banking on a perfect throw. And obviously, I guess the route ended up going towards the sideline. That wasn't my intention. Um, and then let it right into coverage. You got one player taking away two routes seamlessly. And it's going to end up being the game, probably. It's a really uh, frustrating way to lose, but I get it. I made a mistake, and... The Chiefs here could just pretty much run it out. Humphreys pressuring Mahomes. Why are they throwing, and how is it still working? Rasheed Rice breaks two tackles. Finds the end zone. Uh, that's not the worst thing for us, though. We have three timeouts. Now we need an incredibly quick score. And we need to ideally not burn any of our timeouts doing it. And we need yards fast. And I, I thought we had it, but again, we have a receiver that I'm trying to get the football to that looks like they're going to be wide open, get bumped, and it throws everything off. God, it's so annoying. It happens, though, within five yards, especially. It is allowed. Here's a screen to Bijan. There's some good blocks. There's a missed tackler. I don't know if he got out of bounds. I, I need him to have got out of bounds there. And he did. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Um, okay, minute and 40 seconds. We got guys stretching the field here, and then Bijan up the middle. Wide open. Can't make anybody miss. They're trying to hold him up and go for the football, maybe. We're just going to keep taking shots. They're rotating the safeties over. We're going deep for DPJ. Go up and get it! And he does! Donovan Peoples-Jones! His first target of the game, I think. Ends up being a massive play down the field. And now we're going to go for the tight end. The rookie, Neil Madsen, can't hold on. No. The second player came in and knocked it out. Oh, that's devastating. That was going to be a really nice quick score for us. Didn't end up happening. And I, I don't know where to go with the ball there. Tipped up into the air. Again, you have one player, Trent McDuffie, taking away two routes. It's annoying. We're a little gassed, though, and I, I can't afford to call a timeout, get my best guys back on the field. We just need somebody to make a play. Patterson, I mean, how is that not defensive pass interference? He's all over me. 
Should we run verticals? It's only every single suggestion. Okay. Do we have our guys back out on the field? We have Pitts. We have Bijan. We got to get him on a route. I mean, he's just too much of a difference maker to leave him in the backfield blocking. Pitts is open. You got to catch it in front of him. And he can't. I think that's the right call. We got rid of it as soon as we really possibly could. It took us, you know, four seconds from uh, the snap for the ball to even hit the ground. I think you got to go to Pitts there. Just let it just, just enough to the safety. And actually, it hits off the hands of Pitts. I, I get that there's a defender there as well. Uh, it's a frustrating play, and it is basically a frustrating way to lose. That is essentially the game. It'll take a miracle at this point. And it's an RPO. Why are they throwing the ball? Oh, you know why? Because they knew that I run commit. They knew. Because they're the CPU. Of course they're going to know. Receiver in motion. I think Humphreys might have had a TFL. That's one. <laughs> It'd take a miracle to get any more. But I guess it could happen. Third and three. They're not actually going to run. They're going to pass, and it's going to be completed to Kadarius Tony, who has room to run down the field. Okuda in pursuit. He can't get him. Touchdown, Chiefs. Nice garbage time, TD. Oh, man, our tackling was absolutely terrible in this one. 11 seconds to go. I mean, we're still trying to score, but what really could even happen here? <laughs> I mean, Bijan's a beast, but not that good. Can't score, you know, three or four possessions worth of points all in one play. He does have 100 yards receiving, though. Seven catches for 100. And this play will be the game. Going to Madsen, he makes the catch, and that is the game. Ritter goes for over 300. You know, we tried until the very end, but it was not to be. We got sacked a lot. Um, I don't know, man. We just got... We were in it for too long to say we got outplayed by the better team. We did allow five passing touchdowns to Mahomes. And we had zero with Ritter. I think it was the interception, self-inflicted wounds. I'll take responsibility for those. Just made a couple mistakes. And obviously, it ended up in a loss. Mahomes, five touchdowns, one pick. Bijan had a great day. 86 on the ground, 100 plus through the air. Or 100 maybe on the nose. Pacheco, 10 for 57. I don't remember A.J. Dillon even seeing the ball, but Bijan 7 for 100, and Pitts had 6 for 100. Interesting. All right. I mean, Kadarius Tony 4 for 138. Some garbage time points. I don't know. Madsen gets 55 yards receiving. Peoples-Jones made a nice catch. Uh, Drake London only had the one catch for 16 yards. We just had a tough time throwing the ball, as we usually do. Willie Gay was all over the field. And then, of course... Didn't even come close. Frankie Lubu had a couple tackles for loss. Humphreys ended up with one. Not going to do it. A ton of pressure from this Chiefs team. Terrell ended up having the pick. We just got, yeah, outplayed, I guess. They were better. And we hung with them for a while. Fourth quarter, wow, we got smoked. Failed the goal on Humphreys, obviously. Ritter ends up having an upgrade after that game. Going to go improviser again. He jumps up to a 76 overall. 77 true overall as his accuracy in general gets better, and throw power goes up by one to a 93. I mean, there's obviously something to, to work with here, but it's a, it's a slow grind to upgrade him at the moment. We're just really run heavy, and um, when we pass the ball, we are often met with resistance. But yeah, Deshaun Humphreys, no upgrade for him. Unfortunate. Got the loss as well. We dropped to one and one. It was a winnable game. Final score line, I feel like, is not indicative of how well we played at times, but offense was not good enough. Defense, I mean, they were good enough for a while. <laughs> Fourth quarter, just different story, but we didn't put our defense in advantageous positions. That is the episode. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm ready for this rematch against the Eagles. See you in the next one. Take it easy.